Hi, I'd like to show you how to get rid of a background so that you can use an image um, for something else. Um, so I'm going to select this image and I don't want the purple background so that's what I'm going to be editing out. Um, so you can click on the website and save image as. And some of these images, if they're not technically free, they're going to have the watermark on them. Um, there's ways to edit those out, or if you can just find a free image, then you don't have to worry about it. So you go File, Save As, and title it what you would like. And I'm going to use Photopia, or Photopia, however. Uh, people like to say it. Um, I was already practicing, so I'm going to show you how to go for a new project. Um, you can pick one of these formats. Uh, we're working on the GIF, so um, I'm just going to go kind of go for a rectangle and create um, in Photopia. In order to get an image to place, it's open in place and find your recent image that you saved. And it drops it on a new layer. So you want to use the lasso tool and you're going to use the lasso tool um, if you hold this down magnetic lasso tool is great because you it'll kind of automatically find an edge um, so you start clicking and you can kind of follow along and you'll see that it, it kind of guesstimates where the edge is I'm assuming it's going off of contrast um, and I'm okay if those little hairs get cut off. And I'm just going around making an outline around the main form. I'm trying to stay close, but if it doesn't make it perfect, that's fine. Going around the hand, coffee mug. Um, and you don't have to constantly click. You can... Um, with the magnetic wand tool, it just kind of snaps into place until I get to the end. And now it has this object selected. And so if I hit delete, um, it'll pop up that it needs to get rasterized, which means that it needs to be put into pixels. Um, so you just go to layer and rasterize um, and then it'll do it. It doesn't really look like it does anything, but it did. So if I was to delete it, um, it still has that bounding box, but oops, I accidentally deleted the actual object. So an easy way to do that is go to select inverse. So I'm picking everything else around that object and delete it. Um, I can go back to the um, magic la or magnetic lasso tool and I can do these internal parts too. So that's how you get rid of a background. What's great about this is um, this makes the background transparent. It gets rid of everything. Now I wanted to delete what was inside so I could just select delete instead of inverse. And so now I have that. Um, you can turn off the back, white background and you can see what is still taking up space um, or hasn't been transparent and you can erase that as well. Um, and you just use the erase tool to go in and clean up those things that you want to erase.